Josh. Uh, congratulations on the win, mate. Um, I saw on your free fight you mentioned that there was a lot of protests on the week for the fight and uh, the home ground. Um, I just wanted to know, once you got out there, you heard that ovation from the crowd. Yeah. Did that help or did that add to the pressure? Um, oh, when I was in there and I heard all that crowd, I was like, yeah, this is. Yeah, it literally felt like so comfortable in that, but I felt it's fresh beforehand, like obviously when I was up in the warm-up room, like so much moves going through my body, but um, when I was in there, it felt so normal. Congratulations on the winner, Connor. Are you happy with the third round finish, gaining you some experience in the top organisation and showing you have the ability to be dangerous in the late rounds? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to us. I'm really happy to get the finish and I know uh, that he's a dangerous opponent, so I was glad that he sort of weathered by his sort of storm in the first round. Feeling tired in the second and uh, finishing the third, so yeah, I was really happy with that. Yeah, coming into the fight, um, what were you expecting uh, from your opponent? And was there anything uh, that he did that was uh, maybe surprising? Uh, nothing surprising really. I, I thought. I knew he was going to be super aggressive. Like I could even see in the way in, uh, yeah, the way in yesterday, like the stare off. I could see he was real hyped up for it. It's like I knew he was going to be aggressive, and uh, watched his previous fights. I knew he just goes with a lot of power. But uh, to be honest, I thought even though he, he did like caught me in the first fight, I thought he was going to be even more marching forward. Like uh, he sort of held his distance a little bit. So uh, I thought he was going to be even more aggressive than that. But uh, so he was too still. There's not many Welsh athletes that go one and know and get to be on the bill for PFL in the Motor Point Arena. What was going through your head in the dressing room in the run-up? Was it business as usual? Um, to be like honestly, like when I was up there, I was, I was super nervous. Don't get me wrong, but like I was all controlled. Like uh, I, I believed in myself, so it wasn't anything overwhelming. But uh, it did feel surreal because like looking at all the PFL stuff, and I'm thinking like, I've only had one fight at the pro. Uh, I, but uh, it all comes down to like a bit of luck as well, because like what the chances of GFL coming hard. You know what I mean? You've yeah. got some big stars here, so you've got Randy Couture, Dan Hardy. Have you had any words or words of wisdom from any of the gang? Uh, I haven't yet, but I don't think we're going to make it yet. Yeah, cool. see. Congrats on the win, Josh. Um, as just been said, from big Welsh crowd behind you today. Um, how do you feel about the performance? You happy with that, what you put on tonight? Yeah, um, I am happy with the performance. Like I could have performed better in the uh, in the first round and the second round. I, I feel like I could have performed better in the third round. I felt like I performed well, but um, I, I'm happy with the performance anyway. But I know there's plenty of people who've got, and uh, I'm going to be doing this weekend better. But yeah, happy to have a good test of a opponent like that as well. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, thank you. Once more, sorry. He's 30 years old. Look quite physically dominant in there. You looked a bit smaller in terms of the build. Yeah. Did you account for that tactically, or was there a lot of making it up after feeling this pressure, feeling his power in the early rounds? Um, did I like? What was that? So did you anticipate his power in the early rounds, or was that something that you had to deal with later on as he began to wane? Um, I knew, so like, I'll be real. I was, um, I'm planning to go to the way, mm -hmm. so like. I just took this opportunity because why not, isn't it? Like you can't turn down this opportunity. Um, but so like my next fight's gonna be at Featherweight. So going at the lightweight, it wasn't any different to me because I thought all my answers would like to anyway, but um, yeah, I knew he was gonna be bigger and uh, like strong in there, so uh, but I knew the longer I could fight going then uh, like that sort of strength will be as as dangerous. That's great. Thank you. Uh, one more question. So after a finish like that, what do you want next in your career? Um, I, I love another fight with yeah, the Like I love it here. Like yeah. all week has been sweet. So uh, yeah, if I could uh, keep fighting in this organization, I'd be more than happy. Oh, all right. Josh. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Josh.